Hello again. In this video, we're going to take a look at the revised implementation of word wrapping, or more specifically, line breaking in TextMesh Pro. Now, the reason for these changes is to better handle uh, Asian languages like Chinese, Japanese, um, Korean, or Thai, for instance, as these languages have a different rule set when it comes to breaking up lines uh, or words. So what we're going to do first is uh, take a look at how these changes affect uh, Latin-derived languages like English, for example. Now, what I'm using here is uh, the latest beta of Unity 4.6. I'm using the normal TextMesh Pro component with this text container, which allows me to control uh, our word wrapping. But if I was using the TextMesh Pro UGUI component and rendering to the canvas, then I'd be doing the same thing with the rec transform. So you can uh, basically expect the same behavior regardless of the Text Mesh Pro component that you're using. So when we look at word wrapping, obviously we're wrapping words from line to line here. And when we get to this case right here where the word demonstrate is the longest word and we can no longer uh, wrap up the words, then we begin to basically break up the individual words themselves. Now, if I was to shrink the size of the container here, you can see that there's a bunch of characters that went below the margin area. That's basically we're using masking right now. So anything that exceeds the range or the bounds of our text container gets masked. So if I change the margin here, you can see that we're masking. Uh, that's just to explain what's going on here in case you were curious. But back to our uh, line breaking, in our character or in our rule set, we can also define how um, certain words or certain char characters affect line breaking. So for example, there are leading characters like this square bracket here and following characters like this closing square back bracket or parentheses would be a similar thing or curly braces and so on and so forth. And the rule basically says that uh, this closing square bracket can never show up on its own at the start of a line, nor can the opening uh, square bracket show up on its own at the end of a line. So here, as you can see, I can never get those two alone. It's kind of hard to wrap it that way, but it would tend to do the bracket with a D at the end. And then over here, you, you could have the E with the closing bracket, but never the leading or following one on its own on the line. Another change to the rule set is if I was to add currency or a number, you'll see here that the number itself will never be broken up because um, then it would be kind of weird. So that's another rule set that's in place. Um, another thing real quick is I'm trying to make sure I mirror uh, the behavior that you have in Word. So in Word, for example, when actually I need to get this number to go away. But if I was to shrink this line down, you'll see that we shrink down to EX, but never down to a single character. That's how Word behaves. Uh, now, if you really needed one character, like a vertical line of text, then using word wrapping, in my opinion, is not the ideal thing. It would be better for you to go in the input box and type each character with a line feed, and then you'd get exactly what you want. But um, this is, in terms of the behavior, again, I'm trying to mirror what's happening in Microsoft Word. Okay, now let's switch to take a look at some example of Japanese text and word wrapping here. Um, this line of text was uh, provided to us by a TextMesh Pro user. Uh, unfortunately, I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what it says. In terms of the implementation, um, basically there are two lists of characters that are being used to manage this behavior. There's a, a list of leading characters and there's a list of following characters. And then you can populate or edit, the, edit those lists to uh, control what's happening. In terms of characters in the list, it basically means that those characters on their own cannot be wrapped. So they're always accompanied by something. Now, uh, leading characters, for example, or following characters like the end of a line a character like this circle here, it basically means that it can never occur or show up on its own at the start of a line. So if I was to word wrap or, or character wrap um, on this line, when I get to this character, you'll see that it's not on its own. It pops the last two characters together on the next line. Okay, and there are other characters where the behavior is the reverse, where uh, a certain leading character can never show up on its own at the end of a line. Um, so if I was to slowly 
um, shrink the size of the container to force more wrapping. If you are familiar with the Japanese language and line breaking and, and character wrapping, then please uh, provide some feedback to let me know if you notice anything that uh, isn't you know, behaving the way you would expect it. Because uh, my desire is to you know, implement this in a fashion that makes sense and is uh, you know, what you expect for your own application. So thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any comments.